Hello and welcome to part one of our advanced series in Python. So today we'll be talking about lists and what they are. Um, so these are a powerful tool in which we can use throughout our programming or throughout our code. And we'll get into why that is in this video. We'll also be talking about um, maybe how you can mutate them because lists are mutable which means that you can go in and change the um, change the values that the variable that contains the list has. So um, we'll get into that. We'll talk more about that and so on and so forth. Um, make sure to go check out the previous video that I've done on Intro to Python um, and our for loop video. That's also really important. And yeah, I didn't get a proper chance to actually introduce lists, so I'll be doing that today. Let's start off by creating a variable in which we can have our list, in which we can store our list. I'm going to title this list1 and set it equal to um, something, so let's set it equal to our list. And in order to create a list, we're going to have to use our Q brackets, as you can see here. And then you can type in the values that you want. You can use strings, you can use um, numbers so on and so forth or integers or floats whatever you want to do but before we do that i want to talk quickly about why i didn't name this variable list it's really important not to do that because as you can see here with my ide that i'm using i'm using visual studio code you could be using the standard python ide that will also change colors and that's to indicate that um, you are actually using a data type rather than a variable uh, this is similar to using float or integer notice how if I type in int right here, it changes colors. So that's uh, it does a similar job with that. Um, so we can't actually use list, and we need to use something else. And that's exactly why I used list one in my for loop video, and we're doing the same here. You can feel free to name it whatever you want, um, but for the purpose of this video, since it is a list, I'm just going to title it list one. And let's fill it up with a bunch of numbers. These are just going to be random numbers. So I'm going to maybe say um, 7, comma 8, comma 1, comma 2, comma 3, or 23, comma 5. It's just random numbers that just popped into my head. And let's print it out just to see how it looks. Print list 1. Okay, so now we can see that it is a list, and we're trying to print it out. So once I run it, which will take me a couple seconds for the terminal to boot up and go into the Python mode. So now as you can see here, we have the printed value, which is a list with a bunch of numbers. And yeah, that's great. So now what if we wanted to input strings into our list? We can do the same thing as long as we have our brackets, as you can see over here. So let's... Um, type in hello how are you okay so basically we just put in a bunch of strings as you can see um, shown by our apostrophe you can also use quotation marks like I've mentioned in our beginning videos um, and let's print it out just to see what will come out to show you guys so this is also a list but it shows you that we have strings in instead of um, our numbers in this case we didn't actually have our um, apostrophe showing you that it is a string value so in this case you can actually use these values as numbers and you don't have to change their data type or whatnot which we will be getting into in our next couple of videos